we're just going to try to get I'm not going for perfection just just try to get some extra insulation up underneath since I've got the underbelly open anyway so we're going to try to adhesive here's the first bay I got up here and try to adhesive and then tape it just enough to hold it until I get the underbelly back and the new underbelly on Let's see what we got So there's one bay. I could probably get some of these little pieces. Oops, that's not good for the pin, I'm sure. Fill some of this in. Alright, so we'll move down to this bay. Try to get some rough measurements and then go from there. Maybe what I'll do on this one is spray this underside with the glue before I put it up. So, wall to wall you're looking at, I can't hardly see that. Looks like 68. This looks like uh, 20, I know 30. 68 by 30. And then we'll just kind of trim it to fit. This is what. 48. We could do two pieces. That's 28. We could do 48 by 28. See how that fits and then do the other piece. This I was trying to get underneath or up inside. I got it through here but I was having problems with these T's. I couldn't get them apart and I didn't want to go into replacing all of everything yet. So I knew I was gonna run out of time. I was able to get this one piece. The rest of it's gonna to have to go back. Not happy about, but I don't know, I have a choice. Promising yet, so we may have to improvise with some wedges. Which that's fine. So basically, you got 30 by 19 and a half Duro span. I found this at Home Depot. Four by eight sheets, inch and a half thick. It's got an R rating of uh, 5.8.
I said. This is not what I do for a living. That looks horrible. I don't know. Whatever. Crazy, but that's good enough. I guess we'll put a little bit up here on the corner. Something like that. Alright, that's it for this one. This is putting the underbelly back on. This is the new underbelly, just like the old. Comes in a roll. I wasn't able to get the propane up in all the bays because fittings aren't wanting to come loose at the tees and I didn't want to have to change everything all the way out to the appliances. But I'm putting this back in sections so that it's, uh, you know, easier to deal with down the road if I have to. Like this here, you can see how I did that and then this is gonna go back and then just work my way back. Try to get it as it's wider than the camper, so I've got room to where. Of course, some of this is pretty crooked, so plus the way it hangs down, that's kind of cheesy. But put one right here. It'll work out. One way. Then I come back and trim it. All this under here I sprayed with Pitts Rust-Oleum Rust Stopper or Preventive or something. But anyway, it coats, stops the oxidation and the rust. So that's good. It's all those shavings. They kind of get everywhere. Come on, little fellas. I'm thinking I might just bring this all the way around these back up just put um, some of that loose expansion foam not the real heavy duty but the, the lightweight stuff just to fill in help keep the cold air out originally wasn't planning on doing that but kind of seems like a better idea this is no professional gig we're just playing this by ear <laughs> Just for giggles. I'm putting all these new ones out here on this lip because I don't want to have to worry about what I put in there. I don't have to worry about hitting anything. And then this I can come back and just trim with a knife if I want to. Trim's really easy. So, if I go. And then basically we'll just keep doing this all the way down. This might be a little bit of a pain. So I'm gonna have to cut it here. 
and do that cross section and then do like I did before. I have to figure this out somehow. because of those pipes, but I think I'd rather do that and then fill that in. Okay. So then I can do these and then I'll take them out to put this under it. Put this under. Once I get these screwed across the cross member, I can pop them out and then start this piece under this piece so the overlap is from front to back so it doesn't get blown in the wind or nothing. Hello fellow adventurers. This wraps it up for our underbelly um, upgrade replacement series on the camper. And unfortunately, we don't get to test it out. <laughs> um, we did trade it in on a new camper uh, shortly after we were finished with it. So watch for the tour of the new camper. Uh, we thank you for watching. If you like our videos, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, share and comment. And as always, make every day a new adventure and God bless.